purpose of this presentation is to provide law enforcement with some tools to identify the similarities between the signs and symptoms of stroke, diabetes, and intoxication. What is a stroke? It is a brain attack. Stroke can affect your ability to move, see, remember, speak, reason, and read and write. Trouble learning or remembering new information, vision problems, problems with short-term memory, chewing, swallowing, and speaking, and balance and coordination. Five signs and symptoms of stroke are Number one, weakness. Number two, trouble speaking. Number three, vision problems. Number four, headache. Number five, dizziness. What is diabetes? Diabetes means having too much sugar in your blood. Three types of diabetes. Type one, type two, and gestational. A person experiencing the effects of high or low blood sugar may appear to be under the influence of alcohol. The effects of a stroke may make the person appear to be under the influence of alcohol. Good day, sir. How are you? My name's Edmund King, I'm with the Gull Bay Police Service. The reason why I'm here today is we've got a complaint of a public intoxication. Have you, have you been drinking today, sir? I'm having a hard time understanding, sir. Do you have any ID, sir? Oh, wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute, I'm out. Okay. Sir, are you struggling with diabetes? No. Good. How about a stroke? Have you had a stroke in the last little while, sir? Uh, yes. Okay. Right now, sir, would you like me to call the EMS? Yes. Today we had a complaint of a public intoxication, Aboriginal male, or approximately 40 to 50 years old. Uh, as I approached the male, uh, he had shown signs of intoxication. As I got a little closer, and we had verbal communication, he started struggling with his uh, verbal communication. One thing I noticed is his mouth was a little droopy, um, so he was struggling with his talk. Um, when I asked him for his ID, um, he went to use his hand and he struggled with that. So one of the things I asked him if he had diabetes. And uh, again, he was struggling with communication, said yes and no. Um, he communicated no. So that told me he was having, he had a stroke or he was having symptoms of a stroke because once again, his arm, his droopiness, his speech. Um, and his, he had that odor on his breath that seemed like he was intoxicated. At that point in time, through my stroke training, I observed that that's where his complications serve for we call the EMS emergency services to assist him. In comparison, it is important to be aware of the similarities between visible, physical signs and symptoms of stroke, diabetes, and intoxication. Awareness can assist law enforcement into acting immediately upon any of these medical emergencies. It is possible for someone with diabetes who is intoxicated to be suffering from a stroke.